Turning now to a crime alert after a woman was shot and killed in Northwest Miami Day. This all happened right in front of her children following some sort of a dispute right near an elementary school as well. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morahone is live for us at that scene. She has the latest on the search for a shooter. Leanne. And that search is still active. We don't have a description of the shooter at this point, but we are learning more information about the woman who was killed. A source close to the family telling us she worked as a home health care aide and she was a mother to seven children, six of whom were with her when she was murdered. It was surreal to see these kids carry on the way they do. A witness describes the horror of seeing six children react to their mother's killing. The shooting happening right before their eyes, the killer still on the run. We don't know how many subjects were involved. We don't know if they fled on foot or if they fled in a vehicle. It happened just before 3 o'clock Tuesday along Northeast 159th Street near Oak Grove Park. Nearby Oak Grove Elementary was in the process of dismissing students. The victim was behind the wheel of an SUV with her six children ranging between the ages of 7 and 17 as passengers. Miami-Dade police say some sort of argument led to the gunfire. I was in the backyard and I heard a loud sound. Yo escuché dos, uno que como fue, como fue un disparo, uno y el otro fue más fuerte el choque. The injured woman lost control of her car while trying to flee, slamming into parked cars, one of which belonged to Eustace Norris, who saw the children screaming for their mother. They were crying like crazy and had some blood on them. Y los niños empezaron a gritar. Ma, ma, ma. Police identified the victim as 33-year-old Jaretha Lawson. So far, no suspects or persons of interest have been identified or arrested. Police are looking into whether the shooter was known to the victim and what the argument was all about. I have kissed myself and it hurts a lot. And as you can see, there are still signs of what happened here just behind me in the grass, pieces of debris from those vehicles. Again, police do continue to search for the shooter or shooters involved in all of this. If you have any information, you're urged to call Miami-Dade Police or Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Northeast Miami-Dade. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. You can't help but just feel heartbreak for those children. All right, thanks so much.